I don't see the shark bot anymore. Maybe we lost him. Yeah! Or maybe not. That shark bot's a big problem, Blaze. And we need to find a solution. Hmm. We've got to find some way to make him stop chomping. And the only way to do that is to feed him something he can't chomp. Oh, I've got a big piece of rope. Great! Let's do a test and see if the shark bot can chomp through rope. Did he break the rope? Yeah, and it only took him one bite. Hey, how about a stick? This seems pretty strong. Sure. Let's test it and see if the shark bot can chop through a stick. He's chopping the stick. Did he break it? He did! Yeah, but it wasn't as easy for him that time. It took the shark bot three bites to break it. Quick, AJ, see if you can find something even harder to bite. Ooh, look! A metal pipe! This feels like the hardest thing yet! Let's test it! Did he break the metal pipe? No! He can't bite through! Look! He's falling apart! Blood nuts! Someone's blasting cannonballs at us! Cannonballs? It must be... Pirates! <laughs> Keep blasting, crew! Shoot! Wait! Those pirates are everywhere! And they really want to sink our ship! Hey, I've got an idea. To stop those pirates and their cannons, let's build a cannon of our own. Ooh, cannon? Sank light! I'm a cannon monster machine! Wow! Blaze cannon! Quick, y'all! Let's load the cannon with cannonballs! <laughs> the cannonballs should be right in here! Ta-da! Uh-huh. Those not cannonballs! Those underpants! Underpants? Don't worry, crew. Underpants are even better than cannonballs. Come on, let's blast those pirates with underpants. Aye, aye, Captain Blaze. <laughs> we got them now, crew. Switching to visor view. Show us the trajectory. If I aim the cannon low, the underpants will land here. Will they hit the pirate's boat? No! Whoa! Quick, Blaze, aim higher! If I aim high, the underpants will land here. Now will they hit the boat? Yes! Yo-ho! Underpants! Look out! <gasps> Hold on, Sparky! Sparky! Tiger Claws! Sparky's Hedgehog! Don't worry, Sparky. I've got you. Oh, no! Stripes and Sparky are in trouble. Lug nuts. This dam is breaking, and water is pouring through those cracks. Oh, oh, oh. This calls for structural engineering. We need to fix those cracks and make the dam strong again. Ooh, I know what we can use. A concrete pump truck. It can pump concrete into the cracks to fill them up and stop the leaks. Great idea. Let's turn me into a concrete pump truck. I'm a concrete pump monster machine. Water's getting higher! Sparks, Sparky! Hang on, Stripes! We're gonna fix that dam! Extending the boom arm! Turning on the pump! 
time to flat some concrete. It's working, Blaze. The concrete is hardening and fixing the crack. Gaskets, we've got to hurry and fill the rest of these cracks or the whole dam will fall apart. I know. Let's use blazing speed and fix this dam super fast. To give me blazing speed, say, let's blaze. Let's, let's blaze. blaze! Yeah! Yeah! Woo <laughs> The dam is fixed! And look, the water's going down! Woohoo! We're saved, Sparky! Sparks luck! <laughs> Whoa! It sure is a long way down. Hmm. I've got to find some way to get across without falling into the water. Hey, check it out! Slippery slides! I bet if I slide down the right one, it can launch me to the next rock over there. Come on, let's do an investigation. We're gonna figure out which slide I should take. Here, I'll roll a coconut down each slide, and you look carefully to see where they land. Ready? Look carefully. Which coconut made it to the rock? The green coconut, yeah! This slide launched it all the way over. The yellow coconut splashed down into the water, so we definitely don't want to go that way. Here I go! Yahoo! <laughs> All right, we made it! Let's do a new investigation. We've got to figure out which slide can get us to that rock over there. Hmm, which slide do you think will get us there? Well, let's use these coconuts and find out. Coconut made it to the other side. The yellow one, it went down this slide. Come on, let's go the same way. Whee! Yeah! Phew, just one more jump to go. Which slide do you think will get us there? Well, let's find out. Which coconut made it to the other side? The green coconut and it went down this slide. Yahoo! Yes! We made it all the way across! Oh, yeah! I'm a speedboat monster machine! Whoa! Awesome! Get ready to go, team. I'm increasing the propeller's rotational speed to 50. Those fountains are going to keep flooding the racetrack unless someone turns them off. I can do it. All I need are my water skis. Yeah! Woohoo! Go, Gabby! Okay, fountain, time to turn you off. She shut off that fountain. All right! Now, come on, let's turn off the rest of these fountains. Whenever you see a fountain, say, fountain. Fountain! Yeah! Nice going, Gabby. Now keep looking. When you see the next fountain, say, fountain. Go. When you see the last fountain, say fountain. Fountain. Yeah! Way to go, Gabby! You turned off all the fountains. 
And look, the water is going down. Truck team, we've got to help them. Look, there's the baby panda. Quick, let's use our tow truck to grab him. Yeah! Ah! Nice one, Blaze. Now we just have to pull him in. Ah! My winch isn't turning. The water's pulling on the panda with too much force. What we need to make it turn, we need torque. Yeah, torque is turning strength. And the more turning strength our tow truck has, the harder it can pull. Come on, let's give our tow truck more torque. To rescue that panda, we need to increase our torque to five. Count to five with us. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome, little guy. Now let's go rescue the other pandas. This way, baby panda. <laughs> Look, there's the mommy panda. Got her. All right, Blaze, reel her in. To pull this panda in, we need to increase our torque to seven. Count to seven with us. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven! Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Come on, Pickle! We need to get our sail back up like those guys! Aye, aye, Crusher! <laughs> Pickle! I'm not a sail! Get me down from here! Consider it done. Uh-oh, Crusher. I think you're losing. Well, looks like there's only one thing I can do to win this race. Cheat! <laughs> I'm gonna make something to knock Blaze's boat right out of my way! I'll build... a wild wave maker! Oh, my! Those are some big waves! <laughs> that ought to stop, Blaze! Where did all these waves come from? <gasps> it's Crusher! He's making all these waves! It's working, Pickle! But I want these waves to be even bigger! 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 Uh, Crusher, I think you're making these waves a little too big. Ah! Hang on, crew! Ah! Phew! Gator Lagoon, you say? Curious why they'd call it that. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of gators. How are we gonna get across the lagoon? Hey, I have an idea. Let's launch ourselves over the gators and onto those ships with a cannon. Yeah. All right. Cannons launch things using combustion. When you put heat, fuel, and oxygen together in a cannon, boom! There's a powerful explosion that can launch us into the air. Let's launch ourselves over the gators to that first sunken ship. Over there. Switching to visor view. With a little blast of combustion, the cannon will launch us here. And with a big blast, it'll launch us here. To get to the ship, should we do a little blast? or a big blast. A 
big blast. Yeah, a little blast won't send us far enough. Get ready for a big blast of... Combustion! Come on, let's use this cannon to launch us to that next ship over there. With a little blast of combustion, we'll land here. And with a big blast of combustion, we'll land here. To get to the ship, should we do a little blast or a big blast? A little blast, right. Time for a little blast of... Combustion! Oh, yeah! There's the little bunny! You're here! I knew you'd make it! I knew it! And then I kept knowing him! And then I knew it again! And then again! Little bunny! Watch out! Oh, oh no! I don't think little bunny can hang on much longer! Then we need to get to her super fast! We need blazing speed! To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! I'm slipping! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah! Robot blaze! I got you, little bunny. Now hang on! Safe now, little bunny. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. The bridge, it's breaking behind us. If we're gonna make it across, we've gotta go faster. Quick, let's check our speedometer. A speedometer is a tool that measures how fast a vehicle is moving. In a truck, the speedometer measures the speed your wheels are spinning. And the faster your wheels are spinning, the faster the speedometer says you're going. To make it to the other side, we need to go a speed of seven. Our speedometer says we're going this speed. What number is this? Seven, yeah! We've got the speed! <laughs> Just one more bridge to cross. Whoa! To get across this last bridge, we need to go our fastest speed yet. A speed of 10! The speedometer says we're going this speed. What number is this? Eight! Yeah! That's not fast enough! Hang on, Blaze! I'll speed us up! Now what speed are we going? Ten! Right! Oh, yeah! We made it! And just in time! <laughs> to get the cotton candy machine, I've got to pull harder than that pirate bighorn. I need more force! Yeah! Force is a push or a pull. Big rigs have super powerful engines. That way, even when you fill the trailers with big, heavy things, they've got enough force to pull it off. Ah! Right now, Big Rig Blaze is pulling with the force of one, and the Pirate Bighorn is pulling with the force of three. Which number is bigger, one or three? Three! Yeah! That means the pirate bighorn's pulling with more force. <laughs> Quick! We've got to help Big Rick Blaze pull harder. Increasing force! It's working! Now Blaze is pulling with the force.
force of six. Which number is bigger, six or three? Six, rock! Yeah! Now Blaze has more force. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Uh-oh, now the pirate Bighorn is pulling as hard as he can. He's pulling with a force of eight. Which number is bigger, six or eight? Eight! <laughs> that means now the big horn has more force. <laughs> I can't let him get the cotton candy machine. Increasing force! <laughs> That's it, Blaze. Now you're pulling with the force of 12. Which number is bigger, 12 or 8? Nobody has more force than... Big Red Blaze! Yeah! Yeah! We got the cotton candy machine! Ta-da! Our boat is fixed! Nice work, Gabby! Yeah! Now we can sail back to Axel City. <laughs> Guess what, Slowpokes? I fixed my sailboat first. Uh, Crusher, your boat doesn't look very fixed. And that's not a sail. It's a pair of pants. Ah! My sailboat is the best boat. It's number one. Except for the fact that it's sinking. Sinking? Ah! Quick, we've got to help them. Aye, aye, Captain Blaze. Here, grab onto these. Hooray! Blaze saved us. Oh, Blaze, you're my hero. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, Pickle. Now let's set sail for Axel City. We're going home. I can finally relax. Yep. From here on out, it's smooth sailing. up! Caskets! We'd better grab the jungle horn before it goes down that waterfall! I missed! Let me try! Ah, lug nuts! Oh no! It's almost at the falls! I can almost reach! Here, Stripes! Hang on to me! Ha! I got it! Oh! oh no! We're too heavy! It's making the log unbalanced! To balance, we need something on the other side that weighs the same as me and Stripes! <gasps> the jungle horn! I can use it to call my animal friends! They can help us balance! Uh-oh, 
Darrington made the wood too heavy. Now the water is coming up over the sides. Huh? What's going on here? Darrington, you're sinking! Jump! Ta-da! Look at the wood Darrington is on now. Is it sinking or floating? Yeah! It's floating! Even with Darrington inside, the curved wood has those tall sides to keep the water out. <gasps> Here come the grizzlies! Quick, everybody in! Second, this must be the croaking cave frog's home. Where's the croaking cave frog? Yeah, there he is. We found him. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I think the croaking cave frog wants us to play with him. <laughs> okay, little froggy, lead the way. Chopping shark flowers. Oh man, they're everywhere, Blaze. They're growing out of the floor and the ceiling. The only way we're gonna get past those shark flowers is to steer past them. And we can do it with the power of floating. Yeah! Remember, things float when they have enough air inside them. And a submarine has a special part that can fill with air. A ballast tank! Yeah! When air goes into the ballast tank, it pushes the water out, and we float higher. Then, if we want to sink lower, we push the air out again and let the water come back in. Come on! Let's use floating and sinking to steer past those shark flowers. How shall we steer to get past them? Shall we go over or under them? Over! Yeah! Adding air to our ballast tank! Yeah. We got past them! More shark flowers! To get past them, should we go over or under them? Under! Getting rid of air to sink under! Yeah. Woohoo! Should we go over or under them? Over! <laughs> Look, there's the end of the tunnel. But to make it, we'll have to get past those last shark flowers. Should we go over or under them? You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Blaze and the Monster Machines YouTube channel for new videos every week.